Apple launches iOS 16 to make your iPhone more personal. Apple has launched iOS 16 to turn your iPhone into a more personal device that brings the biggest update ever to the lock screen, the ability to edit and collaborate in messages, new tools and mail, and more ways to interact with photos and video with live text and visual lookup. iOS 16 is now available as a free software update for iPhone 8. Apple will introduce iCloud's shared photo library to give families a new way to share photos seamlessly with a separate iCloud library that up to six users can collaborate on, contribute to and enjoy. The reimagined lock screen in iOS 16 features a new depth effect that artfully displays subjects in front of the time, expressive type styles and color choices that can change the look of the date and time, and widgets that offer information at a glance. Redesigned notifications now roll in from the bottom to offer a clear view of the lock screen, and users can choose to view notifications in an expanded list, stacked, or as account view. With focus filters, apps like Calendar, Mail, Messages, and Safari can display only the content that is relevant to a user's focus, helping them to find better balance. Updates to messages make it possible to edit, undo send, and mark conversations as unread, making it even easier to stay connected. With iOS 16, users can now invite friends and family to share play via messages, offering another way to enjoy synced content like movies or songs and shared playback controls. In addition, new collaboration features and messages make working with others quick and seamless. Now users can schedule delivery of an email ahead of time or cancel delivery of a message before it reaches a recipient's inbox. Users can also set reminders to come back to a message at a later date with Remind Later, receive automatic suggestions to follow up on an email if they haven't received a response, and get automatic alerts when they've forgotten to include a recipient or attachment in an email. Users can now tap and hold on the subject of an image to lift it from the background and place it in apps like Messages. Visual Lookup also expands to recognize birds, insects, spiders, and statues, helping users quickly get information about objects and scenes in photos. Designed to replace passwords, passkeys use Touch ID or Face ID for biometric verification, and iCloud Keychain to sync across iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV with end-to-end -end encryption, Apple announced. The fitness app is now available to all iPhone users to help track and meet fitness goals, even if they don't have an Apple Watch. The upcoming iOS 16 has a feature that will allow iPhone users to deploy security patches without a full iOS update, and they can also choose to roll back the security updates. The Rapid Security Response System in iOS 16 can install security patches without fully updating your iPhone, or even without having to restart it, in some cases. By default, Rapid Security Responses are installed automatically, but Apple has implemented a way to remove them, reports Mac Rumors. Tech giant Apple is likely to bring out a monthly iPhone subscription bundle with a package combining hardware and services like Apple One this year. The hardware subscription, which would allow customers to acquire iPhones and other items from Apple for a monthly fee, has floated around in rumors for a while, but has yet to become a reality, reports Apple Insider. Apple is supposedly thought to be actively testing the service, according to Mark Gurman's power on newsletter for Bloomberg. While being tested, German said he still expects it to launch either later this year or next year. Given the expectation of an October event for iPad and Mac launches, there could be a high chance Apple could use that presentation as a venue for a subscription launch, as per the report.